lovers and a reflection. In moss-pranked dells which the sunbeams flatter, and heaven it knoweth what that may mean. Meaning, however, is no great matter. Where woods are a-tremble with rifts atween, through God's own heather we wand together, I and my willy, oh love, my love. I need hardly remark it was glorious weather, and flitterbats wavered alow above. Boats were curtsying, rising, bowing. Boats in that climate are so polite. And sands were a ribbon of green and dowing, and, oh, the sun dazzle on bark and bite. Through the rare red heather we danced together, oh, my love, my willy, and smelt for flowers. I must mention again, it was glorious weather. Rhymes are so scarce in this world of ours. By rises that flushed with their purple flavours, Through becks that brattled o'er grasses sheen, We walked and waded, we two young shavers, Thanking our stars, we were both so green. We journeyed in parallels, I and Willie, In fortunate parallels, butterflies, Hid in weltering shadows of daffodilly, or marjoram, kept making peacock eyes. Songbirds darted about, some inky as coal, some snowy, I ween, as curds, or rosy as pinks, or as roses pinky. They wreck of no eerie to come, those birds. But they skim over bents which the mill stream washes, or hang in the lift neath a white cloud's hem. They need no parasols, no gloshes, no good Mrs. Trimmer, she feedeth them. Then we thrid God's cowslips at erst his heather, that endowed the wan grass with their golden blooms, and snapped. It was perfectly charming weather. Our fingers at fate and her goddess glooms. And Willie gan sang. Oh, his notes were fluty. Wafts fluttered them out to the white-winged sea. Something made up of rhymes that have done much duty. Rhymes, to better put it, of ancient tree. Bowers of flowers encountered showers in William's cow. Oh, I love my Willie. Then he bade sorrow borrow from Blythe tomorrow. I quite forget what, say, a daffodilly. A nest in a hollow with buds to follow. I think occurred next in his nimble strain. And clay that was needen, of course, in Eden. A rhyme most novel, I do maintain. Mists, bones, the singer himself, love stories, and all least furlable things got furled. Not with any design to conceal their glories, but simply and solely to rhyme with world. Oh, if billows and pillows and hours and flowers and all the bra brave rhymes of an elder day could be furled together this genial weather, and carted or carried on wafts away, nor ever again trotted out. Ah, oh, me, how much fewer volumes of verse there'd be. Mm, profound.